want to see the total number of males and females given these doses i could generate a pivot table style or a table style of aggregated information from the events if i have to see line listing of the cases then i could list down the events and i could add my filters based on what my line list will be updated <clears throat> then the reports which we generate they can be saved as you've seen for other data analysis for pivot tables visualizers similarly for event reports these reports can be saved as favorites they can be downloaded and we could also add them to the dashboards while creating an event report we always need to identify the program for what program we need to see the report and the analysis is based on a range of dimensions and filters like data elements periods and organization units when we'll be generating these reports for the tracker data there are two kinds of reports that we'll see one is event and another is enrollment now how are these different so as we've seen in the data model for tracker there are tracker programs which have program stages and program stages have events within them. So if we create an output of event type, then we'll be able to see the data from all the events within a single program stage. So we have a program stage and we have multiple events. We might have multiple events within the same program stage. So event report will always show you data from all the events within that program stage. To generate an event report, you first need to identify your program stage and then specifically generate data for the events within that program stage. But for event reports, we cannot use multiple program stages. So we cannot have, uh, cannot however view or summarize data from multiple program stages using this output type. So when we say event, we must select just one program stage. While when we use enrollment type of output here, then we can see the data across different program stages. So you across the program for the multiple program stages, you can view the line listed data. Uh, so it will show you data across the entire enrollment within a program. Now, when we have program stages with repeatable events, we'll always see data from the most recent event. So because this is enrollment and it is going to show you data from all the program stages, it will always pick up the latest event from a program stage. Uh, these concepts will get clearer when I give you the demo because we'll focus on each of these points. Yeah, so I'll start one by one with all of these concepts and first we'll see how can we generate a pivot table and a line list type of event report. So I will move to the demonstration now on my demo instance. I'll show you these two kinds of reports and then I'll give you time for practicing the same on the exercise instance. So this is my demo instance. This is the event reports. Most of you would have seen this already, but just a quick revision of the interface. So in the event reports, we can select the table style. Do I want to see a pivot table or do I want to see a line list? So pivot table will show me the aggregated values and line list will show case wise individual rows. We can select our output type as event or enrollment from here and we'll see how are these different. Then we have the data that we have to select. So in the data, we need to select the program first. What program do we need to analyze? After selecting my program, then I need to select the program stage. When I select event type of uh, output, I can select one stage and show the results. When selecting enrollment type of uh, output, I can select multiple stages here. 
and whenever I select this stage, my data elements, attributes, program indicators, all of them will be available here. I can double click them to select them. Then as we know for analysis, we have data periods and organization units. So we, after data, we need to select the periods. We could either have fixed and relative periods, similar to what we have in pivot table. We can select our uh, period type from here and select the periods. We could have relative periods. Additionally, for the event reports, we have option to select start and end dates. So you could select here exact start end dates if you want to see events within a particular range of dates. So you can do that selection from here. Organization unit, again, we have fixed and relative. I could either select based on this or I could select based on user org units or the units. So this interface is same as the pivot table and data visualizers that we have. From here, we could update our selection, save favorites, change my layout. We'll be trying out these while I'll be generating a report. Okay, so to start with our first example and see how our table styles for pivot table different from line list, I will start with creating one pivot table and even type of output for now. I'll just show you what, what we'll be generating and then I'll show you how we can add that. So we have a favorite. I'll just open that and show you. Now, if we want to see for my um, COVID-19 case-based surveillance program, in a group of ages, I want to see how many males and how many females were positive. So basically, I want to see confirmed COVID-19 cases gender-wise and age-wise. So you see my age categories. I've already created these categories as legends. So my age categories are here and my uh, gender breakup, male, female is here and all of these are positive cases. So this pivot table will allow me to see aggregate information for confirmed cases by age and sex. So let us see how this table can be generated. Right, so I'll start with my selection. I need to generate a pivot table of event time. What is my program now? So in the data, I will select case-based surveillance program because that is where my lab results are being uh, entered. So I'll go to case-based surveillance program and my stage for the lab results is lab results. So I will select lab results program stage. This would show me all the attributes and all the data elements specific to the lab results program stage. Now I have to make my selection for age and gender. So I would say age, I would say sex, and I have to see the results. I have to see confirmed cases. So I would select lab test result. Since I only have to see positives, my analysis that I want to see is positive or confirmed cases, age and sex wise. So I would say, show me lab results which are positive. So it will only filter out the cases, aggregate the cases which have positive lab result. And for my age, I have these ranges or legend set. So I will use the legend for COVID-19. So this is my data, age, sex, lab result. Now for my period selection, maybe I want to see data for entire this year. And I want to see the data for the entire country. So I've done this selection and I will update. Now we can change the layout, how we want to see the data here. So in the layout, In my columns, I want to see the, I can just remove these filters, OU and periods, because they, I don't want to see them on the columns. 
I want to see lab result which is positive and then I want to see it male female wise. So I have done the selection as in the columns here. I want to see male female and in the rows here I want to see age. You can play around with this layout and generate based on what suits your requirement best. And it will keep on updating. So you can try out different options and layouts yourself in practicing. If I update this now. So as you see, age is in the row, which is this legend. And positive male and female are listed here. Right. So this gives me the required analysis. Now, if I want to change my legend, say I don't want to see so many age categories, I have another legion for COVID cases which I want to use. So, where I had selected age, there only I could say use this legend and update. So, you see the legend is updated based on the new category. Right, so generating this pivot table, I selected my attributes, the legend that I want to see for age, the data element based on what I want the application, period, OU, and updated. So this is how my pivot table for the event reports based on the tracker data is seen. Right, now we'll also see example of creating one line list. And after I add the line list, you could practice this once at your end. Okay, suppose I want to see list of cases who have been given first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. Right, so what I want to see, I'll just show you one example. Okay, so I want to see show me all the cases all the line listed cases their names surname sex what vaccine is given to them and which dose so this is like second dose so all the cases with second dose of vaccines i'll try to generate one line list with first dose of vaccine all the people given first dose of vaccine how do i do that so here i'll come back to the selection now as you know, we have to select C line list. So in my table style will now be line list. So here I would say line list. I am still concerned with the events because uh, I want to see the dose wise first dose which is given. So I this I'll stick to event. And now where am I reporting the vaccine? It's in the COVID-19 vaccination registry. So I will select this program. I'll select the vaccination stage and my fields that I want to see in the line list. So I could select all of those. Maybe I want to see first name, surname, sex of the person is national id to identify the person and then i need to see what is the vaccine given the vaccine name i also want to see the dose of the vaccine so dose number right so i've selected first name last name sex national id and vaccine name now my requirement is I only want to see the people given first dose of vaccine. So in my data element for dose number, I could say first dose. So this will give me only the first dose of vaccine. Right, so I filtered for first dose. Now my period selection, I again keep it to this year <clears throat> for the entire country. and I update. So this will give me line listed cases given first dose of all the vaccines. I can change the layout. Maybe I want to see ID before the name. So there is this layout option where it, wherein you could sort it out. So I could say move national ID first and update. 
so as you see now national id comes first and first name surname sex vaccine dose number similarly i might want to see people given second doses so here instead of first dose i could select second dose and the table will be updated maybe i just want to see people who are given astrazeneca out of all the vaccines i just want to see the line list for astrazeneca vaccine given to patient so if i select this filter for the vaccine name and i update so only astrazeneca list so it will filter down the list to only the people given astrazeneca all the doses i could further say who are given first doses of astrazeneca it will filter out so based on your selection here and filtering out for the different data fields you could uh, update your table right so we've seen how to generate a pivot table from event report and how to generate a line list from event report as you've seen for other analysis app similarly we could save this as a favorite by going to save as giving it a name and saving this will be saved as favorite and then you could add it to your dashboards you could also download these this in the following formats right so uh, now we could move to exercise 1 which gives you steps and screenshots which you could refer to on how to create similarly a pivot table and a line list so we'll give you 10 minutes you could practice and you could ask your queries during the same time to see the exercise if you go to your moodle interface for today's session which is event reports there you would see event reports learners guide if you go to the learners guide you have exercise 1 which is to create a pivot table event report and to create a line list event report which is here yeah so both of these you could practice in the next 10 minutes 